Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Gourmia programmable hot and iced coffee maker. So I did purchase this off of Walmart. It was their Cyber Monday and Black Friday for $15. Okay, so this is a standard 12 cup coffee maker, but it will brew over ice also. And that's why you've got this little blue thing because when you do over ice, you're gonna put this under the carafe. And I'm gonna show you that. But it does have a clock and it is programmable so you can start you can program this to, to brew you a pot of coffee in the morning you know the clock is not very bright so up at the top we're going to lift this up this is where our brew basket is you're going to put the water back here this is your brew basket you do need a filter so you need an 8 to 12 cup paper filter this is called a basket style filter you're going to put the filter in there like that then you're going to put your coffee right in there and pour your water back here there's what the brew head looks like. And it does have a warming plate. That's what's gonna keep your coffee warm. But when you brew over ice, the warming plate will work when it's brewing, but when it's done, it will not keep the coffee warm. It turns the warming plate off after it's done brewing. But while it's brewing, this will get warm. And you've got two brew buttons. So if you wanna do hot coffee, you press that button. If you wanna do over ice, you press that button, it's blue. So on the side here, there is a little window to show you how much water you've, in, you've installed. Now this coffee maker, whatever amount of water you put back here, each time you press that brew button, it'll brew that whatever amount you put back here, that's what it brews. And so for if you're gonna do a hot cup of coffee, you're gonna put 12 cups of water back here. You're gonna fill this craft up to the 12 mark on the right hand side. Then you're gonna put 12 tablespoons of coffee right here. Then you're gonna hit the start and it'll brew the coffee. Now, if we're going to do over ice, we're not going to put as much water because we're going to have some ice in this carafe that's going to melt and dilute the coffee. So we don't put as much water back here, but we still put the same amount of, of coffee grounds. So if I do a full 12 pots or 12 cups, I'm going to fill this up to the six mark, but I'm still going to put 12 tablespoons of coffee back here. So Miss Fiona is up from her nap and she would like her treat. She loves to eat her treats. Okay, so I've got my 12 tablespoons of coffee in. I've got this blue thing here. I've got this filled all the way up with ice. We're gonna, and again, there was a little bit of extra water in there. I went in and dumped that extra water out. Put this in. This is filled up to the six mark. Close the lid. And now you're gonna hit the, hit the brew over ice button. That's gonna be blue. Okay, so when you wanna brew over ice, you gotta select the brew over ice button, then hit the brew now. So if you want hot coffee, Make sure the blue light is not on. We're gonna brew over ice, so first turn the blue light on, then hit the brew now. This is how you're gonna brew over ice coffee. So I started the stopwatch. We'll, we'll check some temperatures along the way and see how it tastes when we're done. Okay, so it's been brewing a couple minutes. Let's just take a sneak peek. Okay, so it's been brewing a couple minutes. Let's just take a sneak peek, see how it's doing. Doing a good job. So that temperature coming out the brew head is around 186, a little hard to gauge. I think I did see 190 almost. Now the coffee coming out the bottom of it's around 175 is what I'm seeing. A little hard to do, but I have seen 175. And that's why the ice is gonna melt and dilute that really strong coffee. Now while it's brewing, the, the brew light is flashing. Okay, so almost at the five and a half minute mark, it's finishing up. We can see there's a little bit that has to drain out of the coffee filter yet. Okay, so right about the seven minute mark, it does shut off. It's done dripping out the top. Let's take a look. All the coffee is, there's how the coffee grounds. It looks like it did a good job. It didn't overflow the filter basket. Now again, when you're doing over ice, it shuts the warming plate off. If I was doing hot coffee, the warming plate would stay on. So let's take this off now. So let's just, it did melt quite a bit of the ice. Let's kind of get an idea of what the temperature is inside here. You're still gonna wanna put ice in a cup and pour this into another one. So I like my iced coffee to be around 35. So we're about 39 degrees. So we're almost there, but quite a bit of the ice has melted. So again, if you were to pour this just into a cup, You know, there's what it would, there's the temperature. But let's make an iced coffee. Okay, so I've got a jug full of, of ice here now, and I'm gonna show you how you make my iced coffee. Let's pour it in. It's not gonna melt the ice as much now since it's already cold. 
Now, to me, that is still a really bitter coffee. Um, I like to add a little sugar, so I add French vanilla. You can add any kind of syrup you'd like, about two tablespoons, so about two dumps. And then when you add milk, you can add any kind of milk you'd like. This really helps with the taste. Okay, so I've got my milk and my syrups in there. Give that a stir. And this is actually a really refreshing iced coffee that tastes really good. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, so it's very cold. It's got a very good uh, coffee taste into it. I like Dunkin' Donuts for my iced coffee. This tastes absolutely delicious. I like that it has a strong coffee taste, but it doesn't. it's not bitter. Once you put the milk and the syrup in there, it takes all the bitterness away. It's a very smooth tasting drink and it's very cold. And you can see I got enough there to serve probably two other people of iced coffees about the same size. So I really do like these bamboo mason jars. I'll put a link to them in the show description notes to Amazon. So yeah, again, the coffee maker I think is only available at Walmart, $15. Seems like a pretty good price for this coffee maker. It's gonna it make some pretty good iced coffee and the hot coffee is gonna end up with about a 165 degree cup of coffee, which is pretty standard. Cleanup is very easy. You're simply going to take the brew basket. You can take it over there, get rid of the coffee grounds. You can put this in the dishwasher and same with the carafe. So some key points to remember, just if you're doing hot coffee, take this off. Now be careful, this is hot because the way coffee makers work, there's a heating element down here. That's what heats the water for the coffee maker. Then when the coffee maker is done, it turns that heating element on to heat the coffee, keep it warm. But when you're doing over ice, it only turns that on for the brew and at the end turns it off. But if you do hot coffee, that will stay hot. So setting the time was a little tricky. You got to hold this time button. And then it'll start flashing. And then you got to use the same button to cycle through. It does have an AM and a PM. Now, whenever you get the hour, you just got to wait. It'll stop flashing and then it's going to go to minutes. Okay, now the minutes are changing. Now. That's the minutes I want, and now just let it stop flashing and it'll memorize the time. Okay, so let's say you wanna wake up in the morning to a fresh pot of coffee, hit the brew later button. Now you're gonna use the set time to change the time. Again, that brew later light's flashing. This is the time now it's gonna start in the morning. Make sure you've got the AM or PM set correctly, so let's do five. Now again, let it sit, it'll go to the minutes. Okay, now it's the minutes, do 5.15. Okay, now we got to do one more thing. So hit the brew later button, hit that again. Now make sure when you go to bed, that light is on. Okay, that way it will start in the morning and make you a fresh pot of coffee. I'm not sure if you can do the over ice or not, but it'll make a fresh pot of hot coffee in the morning. Say you want to cancel the brew later and you're going to sleep in, just come up here and hit this button and that cancels it. But the next day, press this. It's going to show you the time. If the time is still the same, just leave it alone. Hit the brew later button again, that light will turn on steady, and now this will start in the morning at 5.15 a.m. And again, have your coffee grounds ready to go. Make sure your craft is empty. Whatever amount of water you put it in the back, that's what it will brew. So if you want the full 12 cups, put 12 back there, or six, put the full six. So I have tried, I've been trying to see if it will do over ice with brew later, but when the over ice is selected, you cannot do a brew later. So you have to deselect the over ice, then the brew, la then the brew later works. So this will only brew a fresh pot of coffee if for hot coffee in the morning. So for $15, this is a pretty nice coffee maker. And they usually will have this on sale for quite a long time. And it's usually, they had a bunch of these available at Walmart. So I hope this video helps. If there's any other coffee makers you'd like to see reviewed or espresso machines, leave them in the comments down below. I check those on a daily basis. That's where I get a lot of my reviews from. These Black Friday and Cyber Monday coffee makers seem to be really popular at Walmart when they make these gourmet. They had a gourmet um, iced coffee maker that I did last year. Very, very popular. Um, these are nice coffee makers, $15. You know, there's not a lot of bells and whistles, but they work very well. Again, you may have one that's bad right out of the box, you know, but this one did work. Just make sure if you're doing over ice, select the over ice, then the brew now. So again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.